Okay, I'm back here. I got this loaded up. Again, I have it sitting on the keyboard. Again, it's, uh, this is pretty good because it's got those this little piece of rubber, like I mentioned, keeps it from sliding. So it would be nice for the students to be able to type in a way. So it's nice. As you can see, let's go to, let's go looking for, uh, I mean, just this MSN.com from just the search here. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and load it up. The browser. Again, this is just a 1.0 dual core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, so it's not going to be as fast as the quad cores or anything like that. So this is pretty much um, what you get here. Not bad for uh, for a small device. Again, for the paper research or anything you need for school, this seems going to be okay. Let's go ahead and click. Um, I don't know. I just click on this on here. I'll go ahead and see if I can compare it real quick as well with the Nexus here. As you can see, we got this loaded up. So let me. I'll head back here. Let me see, go back and um, I'll go ahead and um, see if I can get the same one. I'll refresh this as well. See if we can open up a couple pages real quick together, so that way you can just get an idea of what you can expect with this. Uh, let me see if I can do these together. Well, I'll click on that one real quick and then uh, I must have clicked on something else here on this one. Oops. This is not working out good. Let me go back one more time and um, we'll see. Let me just zoom in on something here. It's not bad. It's uh, pretty responsive as you can see. Let's see. As you can see, it's not bad at all compared to the Nexus. Let's go down to this. Uh, we'll do the compare of this luxuries. I know I hit it on the Nexus first, but again, this this browser on the Nexus is not actually the browser that belongs there. As you can see, actually, um, the Galaxy Tab actually finished first loading up everything. Hmm, not bad at all. Let's do something else real quick. Uh, we'll do um, self-driving cars, self-driving cars here. This time I did the uh, tab first and as you can see the bars up here, they're pretty much equal even though there's nothing showing here. The Nexus has already shown something here. It's actually already loaded here and it seems to have paused over here. Oh, there it goes. That was kind of strange, it gave you a blank screen. That was just very weird. Let me go back once. Looks like the Nexus uh, lost his Wi Fi connection. Maybe I think actually my Wi Fi connection is down, so that's not good. Um, but just give you a, just so you can see. Let me just go back over here since my network's probably down for some reason. So it's very nice. Uh, you can go enter up and down with the keyboard as you can see. As you can see here it goes to the next one or up and down. You can enter that. goes back to your calendars. It would be nice if they would have actually included maybe like a like either documents to go or some kind of program so you can take advantage for instance this is going to be geared more to a student supposedly they did include the memo so that's very nice at least you get the memo here we can let me go see if I can go ahead and um, let me move this and give you guys less glare there I'll go ahead and see This typing is very nice on this. So I'm sideways, so I'm kind of typing a little bit on the side here. Works, works great.
So the keyboard's very nice. Again, it's got a lot of shortcuts here on the keyboard, as you can see. Um, it's got a. It's got one for the internet here. You tap on that, basically launches, of course, the internet. Of course, my somehow something's happened to my Wi-Fi here at the house. It might be the uh, router that's down, or the actually the internet. It's got a shortcut for the mail. There's the lock to turn it on and off. As you can see, if I press this, I shut it off. Turn it on again. Any keyboard here? It's got shortcuts for um, brightness, speaker, and play. These are your app shortcut, which is nice. And here, this this one basically gives you a the menu as you can see it opens up the menu up here in the top and of course you have the delete button way back here so it's pretty nice of having all these dedicated keys here that makes it a little bit easier to navigate without have to uh, be going back and forth this is like a keyboard key here to hide it bring it up and down that's when you have uh, and I can see there's a language button here so that's nice if you wanted to have different languages so you can click on that so again that's just a quick look at this Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 the student edition this is going to be available tomorrow at um, Best Buy and some of the I believe uh, Fry's and other retailers I got the internet back up somehow I was just off to, but just I uh, wanted to show you guys just in case of those who wanted to compare maybe what we'll do is uh, let me choose a just a couple more so you guys can see what we'll do this uh, so you can see how quickly things open up on this one is already I know I clicked it first on the tab but since that one does have a slower processor I want to give that one a head start as you can see this is catching up this is already loaded already uh, and the Galaxy Nexus is still trying to load up it's got a little bit more to go here and it'll be completely loaded um, even though I can start reading but this one has not loaded yet there it is they're loaded so maybe you know like I said you, sometimes you can't go by the gigahertz for basic stuff the uh, galaxy will be fine just uh, maybe for internet and other things you might need let's go to uh, So I'm not just I'm not doing a comp I mean I am kind of comparing things so you can see how the browsers open up. They see there both of them pretty much loaded up at the same time. So I'll go back. But just I just I want to show you guys an idea that even though this is a one gigahertz dual core, it's, it's not bad at all for you know internet, um, documents, e email, Facebook, things like that. that you should be fine with it. If you start, if you're a gamer, of course you you might want to look into getting a Nexus Seven because you will get a better performance out of there for your games. Let's go to this one and let me click here. And right now, I'm gonna switch over here on this one to the Chrome browser, which is the one that actually is supposed to be running here. And let me go ahead and type in. Um, And then we'll do another test using the Chrome browser on this one because this actually the Nexus uh, is supposed to have the Chrome browser. So let's uh, let's take a look at another one, and then I'll go ahead and stop this, and then I'll try to do something, that, you know, just for something else. But here it goes. Uh, again, I clicked on that one first, and then on the Galaxy Tab Two, it's loading up on that one. is actually loaded up here still needs a little bit more to go here here I'm just starting to see something load up here's already loaded up so even though stuff didn't show up it did beat this well actually there's no bar showing oh sorry it is loading up here I was looking at the wrong one here but it's still loading on the sex nexus it's still loading here and it's already done here so um, you might wanna think about 
like I said, is uh, having a lot of gigahertz. Sometimes it's not not what you need to have. It's you need to have what works, and it looks like even though this is a one gigahertz, it's working fine for the internet, as you can see. So I just thought I'd show you guys quickly on how to comparison here. We'll do. Let me do one more, and we'll call it a, a day here. Just so you guys can see here. It looks like it didn't take it here, so sorry. We, we, it's loaded up here. So let me go back one more and um, we'll do the MB, MLB here. MLB stars and give you an idea. This is all the way here. As you can see, I already can go here. Same here, but this is still kind of lagging more actually in the nexus it seemed like it so it's done here it's still loading up here on the nexus so just thought I'd show you guys that so you guys won't think uh, that this is a bad deal again this seems to be a good deal so if you guys are interested or thought about getting this as a gift for some student might not be a bad idea thanks for watching